guys, TechieHD here again with another video, and today I have the unboxing of the DJI Phantom 3 Standard. Now this drone does not belong to me, it's actually a friend of mine, uh, his name is Sam Zarif, and he goes to RISD here with me. I've linked his YouTube channel as well as his Instagram in the description of this video if you guys would like to take a look. Uh, he does also post a couple drone videos, or he probably will now that he's got this Phantom 3 Standard. Uh, so anyway, let's actually go ahead and open up the box. Uh, so the box is pretty large. It's uh, it's actually not like the Phantom 4 that I had over the summer. Uh, it comes in a slightly different box and doesn't have a carrying case with it. But this did come out a couple years ago, so I guess that their packaging has changed. So just slicing open the two little uh, pieces of tape at the bottom with the tabs and opening up the top. The first thing that we have in the box is a little envelope here that comes with all of the... Uh, instruction manuals and paperwork and just basically your quick start guides as well as a little pamphlet for DJI care which basically just tells you about um, the opportunity to uh, pick up their additional warranty which adds a little more time to uh, the technical you know just the warranty cover in case something goes wrong so I'm just gonna open that up and as you guys can see in here outside of the paperwork actually DJI does give you a bunch of different stickers to put on uh, the Phantom 3 if you guys would like to it actually comes with um, a set of their signature like chrome red stickers already pre-installed but they do give you a couple other options in case that's something that you would like to swap out um, and of course as I mentioned before you have your instruction manuals and quick start guides in a couple different languages and just things like that to help you get started flying your Phantom 3 standard so actually opening up the box and taking out that top cover, the first thing inside, you are presented with the Phantom 3 standard itself. Now this is actually relatively similar in size to the Phantom 4 that you guys saw on my channel uh, a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, but it actually seems a little bit slimmer, it's not as large a body, but that's probably because the gimbal is actually outside of the body, which has its pros and cons. I think it looks a little more interesting uh, visually, definitely, but um, I think it is also susceptible to damage, and so that's why DJI went of the route of putting it inside of the body for the newer drones. Now, you also do get four extra propellers, and it's a little annoying that this bag that they come in was already ripped from the bottom, uh, especially since this is a brand new drone. I actually got it straight on the DJI website over their Black Friday sale. Uh, but regardless, you do get four extra props, which is nice. I'm actually waiting on my DJI Mavic Pro, which is what I'm going to be personally using. And that actually comes with only one extra set, which means two propellers instead of the full four, which is kind of annoying. But I guess DJI is trying to cut costs every uh, where that they can without totally making it a worthless purchase. Uh, so here's the controller. It actually comes wrapped up pretty nicely. Um, it's actually kind of different from the Phantom 4 controller. I think they've moved to a different style uh, And this is actually kind of interesting. It's still uh, like this dense plastic and it is definitely plastic You can tell uh, but doesn't feel cheap at all. It actually does feel nice in the hand It's an interesting looking controller uh, as you can notice it only has one uh, Antenna thing at the top uh, instead of two with the Phantom 4 and the clip for your phone is a little bit different Which means you can only really put phones on this and not tablets like uh, the Phantom 4 and Phantom 4 Pro and things like that um, but the sticks are nice. I think they have the same responsive feel like the Phantom 4 controller did. Uh, we have a couple little toggle switches up top as well as the wheel to control the gimbal on the left side. Uh, there's of course still this little 10 years of DJI tag on it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the on-off switch is also like a switch and not a button like the Phantom 4, which I actually almost like better. Uh, and if you turn it on, it just shows you the battery percentage using those little LEDs right there and as well as a little red on or off indicator LED. So I'm actually going to put this controller over here to the side and show you guys what else we get in the box. Now the first thing is this other box right here and that is the charger. Now unlike the Phantom 4 this actually allows you to charge the uh, battery only by itself and you have to charge the controller separately using an included micro USB cable which I guess is a little bit annoying but it's not the biggest deal in the world. So I'm just going to slice off that little piece of tape at the bottom, open up this flap and pull out all of the different cables and things on the inside. So not only does this box include the charger, but also the little micro USB cable. So here's the charger, this end actually plugs into the battery, and this is the end that plugs into the wall. Uh, it's just basically a regular two-prong North American plug, uh, very standard. Uh, and you'll notice that it is in black, unlike the white one on the Phantom 4, uh, but I think it is also black on the Mavic, so I don't know what DJI is doing there. But I guess it's kind of interesting to see the different design changes. 
Now, unlike the Phantom 4 box, you actually do get a little box of accessories here. Now, this is actually just replacement parts for the gimbal. Now, since the gimbal is actually mounted on the outside of the Phantom 3 standard instead of inside of the unibody enclosure on the Phantom 4, uh, this is the kind of thing that could actually get damaged in case of a crash, and something that DJI did think of and thus included a couple extra mounting solutions for the gimbal in case something was to go wrong. So I'm actually going to put all of this stuff back into the box for now, including the drone and just uh, close it all up. But basically I also did get a little while to test out the drone and play with it and see what it was like as compared to the Phantom 4 that I had to test over the summer. And of course the controls are pretty much the same and it flies in a relatively similar manner. I think uh, it was kind of interesting to see that it actually hovers really well even without the sensors that the Phantom 4 has. Uh, here's a little clip of it just kind of hovering in a single spot without moving it and me kind of walking around the drone. It is definitely Definitely as loud as the Phantom 4. Uh, I noticed no difference. I think they're both pretty loud. It's very hard for me to tell without having them both right next to me. Uh, we noticed that the battery life is a little bit shorter on this thing than it is on the Phantom 4, but especially with the Phantom 4 on sport mode, it actually drops battery life considerably. Uh, and the Phantom 3 standard is just kind of like you get about 22 23 minutes of flight time now we did take this out at a really sunny hour of the day and so the video is kind of overexposed and i did try to correct that in post a little so this video here is 2.7k straight out of the phantom 3 standard and you'll notice that the general problem with dji's camera uh, is that the horizon line is kind of askew which is really really annoying i have had to i did actually crop this video a little bit so i could correct it and even still uh, the angle is definitely noticeable it's something that dji has addressed uh, with the Phantom 4 but even there it's kind of prevalent which is a little bit annoying. You'll notice that the playback is actually really smooth. The gimbal does an excellent job of stabilizing the video and having uh, the gimbal on the outside I think still shows just generally that the vibrations are reduced with those little rubber inserts and I think that generally the video quality is pretty commendable especially at $400 which is the price at which uh, my friend bought the drone. It was DJI's Black Friday sale and the new pricing has carried over to their uh, Christmas sale which I think is really nice and I think for $400 you really can't go wrong with a Phantom 3 standard. This is just some footage that we shot in a single take and I think it turned out pretty well for what it is. Either way guys, that's been the unboxing of the DJI Phantom 3 standard. If you guys would like to see more drone related videos on this channel, let me know. I am picking up the Mavic Pro as I mentioned before, so that should be interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's been it. Make sure to check out my friend's channel linked in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.